The art of dance is serious business here in Torrance, and Lawrence and Ballet Center knows a thing or two about nurturing that art. Hi, I'm Nona Melkonian, and today we'll not only explore this distinguished space, but learn all about their upcoming projects for the future. Coming up next on Common Sense. Lawrence Ballet Center has been here for 41 years. We offer classes for pre-ballet, which is four years old, up through whatever. <laughs> really what we specialize in is clean, anatomically correct ballet technique, so that whether you are planning to be a professional or you just want to do it as a hobby, you're going to be safe, but still gets that good classical aesthetic. Lauritz and Ballet is one of the most prominent dance schools in Southern California and a staple in the Torrance community, but that wasn't always the case. It started as a very little school where it was tough to even get people to come into class on a regular basis, but uh, Diane, my co-director, really whipped them into shape and, and grew it into this amazing pre-professional training school that I, I really can't imagine being without. Elijah was literally born into the school. The school has been around since before I was alive. We've been here 41 years, I'm 35, so obviously I didn't have a big hand in starting the place. <laughs> but I did grow up here from the time that I was, you know, an infant being carried during classes. <laughs> I remember growing up here, I, the people at school were my friends, the people here were my family. I basically grew up on the stage. When other kids were learning to throw and catch a football, I was learning stagecraft. I was learning all of these kind of bizarre but fantastic things in this, this weird little world that I live in. It was a great way to grow up. And at the age of 18, Elijah made the transition from dancer to teacher. I've been teaching, I think since I was 18. Teaching is something that you only do if you really enjoy it, I think. Ask any teacher, we don't, we don't do this for the hours, we don't do this for the paycheck. We do this because, because of the students, because we love to teach. When you have a student who achieves something, whether it's getting a professional job or just having one little correction click and all of a sudden they're able to do something that they were struggling with, it's the most satisfying thing there is. That's the joy of it is seeing that progress in the kids. I've been attending classes here since 2012. Dancing is such a part of me that I don't think I'd be who I am without dance. I think it makes me who I am. Our dancers practice just about every day, especially once they are in the upper tier. The youngest ones will take once a week, maybe twice a week at you know five or six years old. And as they come up through the levels, they'll get to a point where they're dancing just about seven days a week. So they are here all the time. And it becomes like a family. And it's that family dynamic that makes this place all the more special, as we learn by witnessing a little celebration during our filming for their beloved accompanist, Leon. I started working here in 1996. I got this my first job when I uh, immigrated from the Ukraine, and this is my second home. It's so great, so nice because, well, kids can feel waves, energy coming from piano. And I also can see them and feel their energy, they inspire me and I hopefully inspire them too. I love to work here. <laughs> the friendships that they make here are friendships for life. They do their homework in breaks during rehearsal, they hang out and eat together and it, it becomes a, a second home. I have actually on occasion heard people call my co-director mom by accident and then, oop, I, I mean Diane because it's, it's a family. You can't spend this much time together and work this closely 
with standards this high and, and a time span that long without growing together like that. Growing together and growing in skills often go hand in hand. We have quite a number of dancers who came up through the school and are now dancing professionally. We have consistently put dancers into professional job. So that's, that's a point of pride. That's something that I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of with this, this studio and this company, is our dancers get work, and they get work at good companies. But starting out as the first ballet center in Torrance came with its set of challenges. When the studio first started, it was tough. It was a, a, starting a small business, which is never easy. This old downtown Torrance was a little bit run down and it has since been wonderfully revitalized. The city has really made a push to make this a great area and there's now a lot of art and a lot of culture and it's, it's a great place. And I like to think that we've, we've had a hand in that as well with all the students who have come through here over the years and been to all the other local businesses. I think we chose Torrance Honestly, because at the time, this area of Torrance was affordable. It takes a lot of space to have a dance studio, and this was what we could get. We expanded because we had outgrown the old place. More students, more costumes and sets to store, more classes happening at a time, and it, we just didn't fit, and so we moved here. Um, and now we've sort of filled this building up. No word on whether Lauritsen would be expanding to other venues, but we did learn about their full and busy upcoming schedule. We have a few performances a year. We do Nutcracker in December. We do a concert called Bravo, which is a mixed repertoire show. And then in June, we have a storybook ballet, which is Cinderella, Capella, Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, or Midsummer Night's Dream. And then our last thing is our Benefactors concert. So it's a pretty full season. A season filled with something for everyone. We want this to be open to anyone who wants to dance. So we have roles in our shows for all ages. Our, our mice in the Nutcracker start as little kids, you know, kindergarten or, or younger and go all the way up through. I think our oldest dancer is about in his 50s in the company, but there are, there are age appropriate roles for everybody. And if someone wants to join and we don't have something, we will make a part for them. We will adjust the ballet. As long as they're willing to put in the time, we're willing to, to find something for them. And for those who'd wish to watch from the sidelines, Elijah has a few words of encouragement. Come see the ballet. We have had so many people over the years who got dragged to the ballet and thought, oh no, I don't like this, I know what ballet is, because they'd seen it on some sitcom where someone was twirling around with their hands here. And they got to the ballet expecting not to enjoy it, and they came away a fan. They came away going, all right, I'm gonna come back to this. This is not what I thought. This is, this is athletic and it's beautiful and it's interesting and, and it's so much richer than what you see on whatever sitcom where they do the ballet episode. <laughs> so I would say come see us. For more information on Lords and Ballet Center, visit them at southbayballet.org. I'm Nona Melconian, and that's just common sense. <laughs>